holy cow, it's actually as good as everybody has said that it is. Guys, to cut to the chase, I don't know that there's a better car that'll fulfill your smiles and fun per dollar ratio on the market today that you can buy new with a warranty. This thing's fantastic. Toyota and Subaru, we didn't even know if we'd get a second generation, but here they are. Not only did they just give us another generation, they went through and they refined and improved many of the complaints that people had, including myself, about the first gen. So let's take this thing out for a drive. Let me tell you all about it. But in short, I've loved it. And if you've had any question about picking one of these up, you absolutely should go get one. Get your name on a list. If you've got to wait a year, do it anyway. Like this is such a great car. I don't know, honestly, that you're gonna have more fun in anything else on the market today. So let's go for a drive. I'll tell you my thoughts as a former Subaru BRZ owner. I owned two of them. I loved the car so much and uh, hopefully give you that kind of perspective from an ownership, from a former owner who just adores these small rear wheel drive, lightweight manual transmission sports cars. All right. So starting off in the 2022 Toyota GR86 Premium, this is the loaded up one with the nice suede seats and the upgraded interior, all that stuff. And uh, this is probably the one that I would get. I had the uh, BRZ Limited in the similar trim and I really liked it. So, but the base is great too. Boy, oh boy, what a nice week it's been. This has been so great. Uh, I know I'm late to the game here and you've probably watched, if you're watching this, you've probably have already watched, you know, a hundred different videos. And so I wanted to give you my perspective from having been a former uh, BRZ owner. I owned two of the last gen BRZ and my last one that I had was a 2020, so this is recent, with the performance package, which came with the big Brembo brakes from the STI and it came with Bilstein shock. And uh, those were the two main selling points. Had some cool wheels too. They were still 17 inch wheels on the primacy tires, but I did like the wheels. And so this has been a really amazing week with this. And uh, that's the perspective I'm gonna speak from is how does it compare to the, woo, you can tell it's a little bouncy. And I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But how does it compare to the 2020 uh, that I owned? And uh, what are my thoughts on the, this new GR86? So. That's going to be where this video is coming from. So let me just get this, my initial impressions out of the way right up front. And I'm going to start, I'll start with the things that I think could be improved or the things that I think my 2020 BRZ limited with the performance pack did better. And there it's a very short list. First of all, my 2020 BRZ with the Bilstein shocks, there's a really nice old 92 Integra over there. That's amazing. Um, my, with the Bilstein shocks, rode much better than this. Uh, this is, it, at least to me, it feels significantly more stiff and bouncy than my, than my 2020 BRZ of the Bilstein shocks. Um, for me, uh, I will probably wait to buy one of these and I love it that much. I'm really thinking about it. If I could swing a, a third car, um, and I'll more on that in just a second. But I, I personally will probably wait because inevitably they'll come up with some performance package, which will probably include some Bilstein shocks and some Brembo brakes, which leads me to my second, my second thing that I've noticed that I feel like my 2020 BRZ did better uh was the braking i mean the brembo brakes were huge they were ripped off of the sti and they were amazing these brakes are good but i did appreciate just the extra bite that those brembos had and so fine for daily driving i mean you'd i'd be fine and happy with this the brakes are good as is but i just was spoiled with those brembos and i really liked them. and the third thing so this has 18 inch wheels with some sportier summary uh michelin sport tires and the tires are really good. I actually, I really like these tires a lot. They're far more grippy than the Primacy's were. And you can still get the tail kicked out fairly easy without too much coaxing, which is really fun, as you probably know if you're watching this video. That said though, the combination of the larger wheels and the smaller sidewalls and stiffer tires has made 
for an extremely loud driving experience. I mean, my BRZ that I had the, uh, even an aftermarket exhaust on was not this loud. Now it would be, I'm not, I'm not opposed to like engine noises, exhaust noises. I like that stuff. The noise I'm talking about is road noise from the tires and it is exceptionally loud. If you are commuting in this thing, it is something you're going to have to get used to and it's something you're genuinely going to have to consider. The first day I had this, we took it up the canyon up to Park City and that highway is not wonderful. It's pretty rough on the freeway. Woo! Oh man. It was just so loud. I'm it kind of gave me a headache if I'm being completely honest with you. So if that is something that is concerning to you and you buy this, you're going to want to, um, you're going to want to invest in some sound deadening materials. If this is going to be your daily driver that you're commuting in aside from those things, this is just as good as I could have ever hoped it would be. Everything, all the reviews you've already watched, all of the things you've already heard people say about this car are true. As a huge fan of the old BRZ in 86, I've owned over 25 cars personally. And that BRZ, as flawed as it was, is still one of my favorite cars that I've ever owned. This is just that car, but so much better in almost every way besides the ones that I've already mentioned. And I'm sure those things will be remedied very soon with a performance package or something similar from Toyota and Subaru. Woohoo! It's genuinely fast now, which is something that I wouldn't say of my old car. I would say it was decently quick, but I would have never said it's fast. This is fast. It's really fun. In fact, I think the zero to 60 time is pretty close to the WRX, which I'm not surprised. The engine, the power that this putting, getting put out here is definitely underrated by Subaru and Toyota. It's putting out a great amount of power and even better, it's putting out great torque. Like in any gear on the freeway or just around town, it used to be in my old BRZ, when you'd put your foot into it, you'd have to like really like keep it in it and like keep the RPMs high. And the RPM, the power is still most found in the upper third of the range and which is really fun. Um, and that's just it. It's fun the whole way through it now. It's just fun all the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, this is so much fun. And uh, I really enjoyed my time with the Nissan Z, but holy crap, you could save at least 10 or $20,000 off of the new BRZ and or the new Z and have a car that I think is more fun. And as a bonus, it's more practical. Yeah, this back seat is pretty much useless. I really can't fit my kids back there anymore. I wish I could. Otherwise I would be like on the phone buying one of these today somewhere if I could find one for MSRP, right? It's just a blast. It's so, so good. I mean, the handling, was already good with the first one and it's been made even better here. It's still crazy lightweight. This is like 700 pounds less the heavy than the B, than the Z and you feel it. This is so tossable. You can coax out the back end. It's just a blast and a half. Like they've improved on this thing in like every way. And I, I mean, I loved the old seats in the BRZ and they were, they were like some of the best seats. I like, I think I've ever said, I just loved them. These seats I think are even better. Like they've just really thought through like, what could we tweak? What could we improve while keeping the costs low? There are some things that I've noticed that aren't quite as nice as the, how they were in my BRZ. Like the door handles, I feel like are a little, little cheaper somehow. Some of the materials may be a little cheaper, just different. I don't know. But overall, I just, I am in love with this car. And the everything that you've heard is, like I said already, is just so true about this thing. If you're interested in this and you are okay with the road noise, 
you're okay from the tires, you're okay with a, a slightly stiff and bouncy ride, you're gonna be like thrilled with this thing. And for like 31 grand fully loaded, this is a blast. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, maybe the Miata, but then you don't have the added practicality, but you don't have a convertible here. So you kind of trade off with the Miata, but this has got to be as far as like dollar smiles per dollar goes, this has got to be like right up there. I mean, I would think that beyond this, in terms of just having fun, to get more fun, I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong here, but I'm, I'm thinking you'd have to spend another like, you know, up in the 50, 60 grand range to get something like a, you know, Cayman, Cayman S, maybe spend a little bit more, get a Cayman GTS, like some, you know, something like that, maybe a Corvette, but that's kind of a different thing. It's heavier. It's got a V8. Like if this, if you're just wanting like small and practical, like, and just, and just fun, this is so awesome. Like call and get on the list right now. And this is, again, I admittedly I'm biased. I was already a big fan of the last gen. I probably liked the last gen more than most people like the motor yeah i had the torque dip but i still thought it was like a lot of fun i really enjoyed it and like i said once once they once toyota and subaru come out with the bilstein shocks and the brembo brakes this thing is going to be perfect <laughs> and i can't wait guys i'll take you on some other uh take you on another drive in just a second but let's get you out of the car and show you around i think they just killed it with the redesign i mean i love it it's more subdued and just smooth and put together than the last gen. And I think they've just honestly really nailed it. And I love the duck bill. I wish you could get the duck bill on the BRZ. I think it's so cool. By the way, just look at that view out there. Ooh, Utah is a gorgeous place, guys. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just odd. Maybe it could stand for a little bit deeper exhaust, but Holy cow, it's just a blast. Wow. Coming into the interior, it's a really nice update. I love the suede that comes with the premium. I love these seats. Oh, I adore these seats. They're so good. No numbness. You could easily commute, road trip in these things and be totally comfortable. And you're gonna have a great time. Again, shallow door pockets, but that's okay. Have this kind of interesting dash, which I think it's actually pretty cool. It's just unique. You're not gonna see anything like that in anything else. You kind of have this like screen that looks like, it almost looks aftermarket, but hey, it works great. Apple CarPlay looks great. The stereo is eh, not the greatest, but that's how the last gen was. I love your switches down here. I think these dials look really clean and nice. And you've got your center digital display, which is pretty small, but it, it, it displays a lot of different information, which you've probably have already seen in other videos too. And uh, overall, I just really love spending time in here. The seats are heated, they're not ventilated, that's okay. But uh, yeah, it's a great interior. Okay, again, let's go back to the value proposition here. This thing is pretty darn quick. It's fast, like I said. There's torque all, all the time. This manual transmission, I loved the one in the last gen, but this has been, it feels even just like better. It feels just, goes into spot just perfectly. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, it's like with the last gen, sometimes you had to like almost convince the car to have fun or you had to really push it. With this, it's just like, we're here to party all the time. There's so much great, there's just like torque just whenever you want it, whenever you need it and pretty much any gear. And uh, oh, it's just such a good time. I know everybody's like, well, I want the Z or I want a Supra. And, uh, if you're after big power, then definitely. They, I'm not gonna deny how fun those cars are because they are fun, but they're fun in kind of a different way. And if you just want just something that just will rip in a straight line, especially, especially if the Z, 
then go go and get one spend 40 grand spend 50 grand 52 53 grand whatever and i think you're gonna be pretty happy although the seats almost like killed my thighs like <laughs> these seats are so much better or just go and get yourself one of these that has almost as many luxury features and frankly has some doesn't have some that you probably don't want anyway right like all like this driver assistance stuff this doesn't have a lot of that which is kind of refreshing like too, too many cars are just too uh, digital these days and this is a beautiful modern analog example of a sports car the manual transmission the clutch the seating position is perfect the pedal position is perfect the th where the shifter is is perfect even the armrest as weird as it is is right there and it's decently padded even like they've really thought through and said okay what what were the flaws of the last one and how do we get this to be as close to perfect as possible and i i, I could talk forever about this but i will stand by that this needs better shocks so it's less bouncy and less stiff and it needs the brembo brakes once it has those two things this thing is going to be perfect. It's going to be amazing. It is already those things, but it's going to be even just better. But you don't have to even touch it. Like, it's so good. I mean, you could, I would want to drive this year round, throw some snow tires on and just have a blast. Okay, little acceleration. Here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo, yeah! <laughs> oh, it was so, it's just, mmm. Great car, Toyota. Great car, Subaru. Great job, engineers. Like, this is the value of the century. And uh, hopefully these things are around for a while. But you never know, right? You never know. So go and buy one up while you can. I know the demand has been really high and the sales numbers were a little bit stronger than what Subaru and Toyota were expecting. If you're looking at a sports car, uh, you're not going to be disappointed. I mean, this is just a blast and a half. All right, I better wrap things up. I could talk all day. If you want to talk more, honestly, you can message me on social or message me here, and I'd be happy to chat more with you about my thoughts on, you know, as an owner of a BRZ and now not an owner yet, hopefully, right? But as someone who's driven this for a week, I'd be happy to chat more with you. But this is, uh, in short, just knocked it out of the park very very just small things that they could improve on but right out of the box for the money it's pretty fantastic and i think you're going to just have a blast with these things so guys uh thanks for hitting the subscribe button as always and uh just go enjoy the drive go pick one of these things up and let us know how you're liking it see ya